Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the Northern Mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino, and this is the Weekend Edition. For this evening, we have a disturbance that is moving through the Northern Mid-Atlantic with a few scattered snow showers. Some of these snow showers have been capable of producing a trace to up to two inches of snow. Now, most locations will see a flurry at most. But there will be a few isolated locations throughout eastern Pennsylvania and most of the New York City metropolitan area uh, that could in fact receive a burst of light to moderate snowfall. Again, it's going to be isolated, but still the threat is there. The majority of the snow, though, will dry up in the atmosphere in what is called Virga because the atmosphere is just too cold and dry. Well, more than just too dry, can't really be too cold, but at any rate, uh, the snowfall will move through this evening with uh, not much in the way of impact. So what can we expect this weekend with a potential storm moving towards the northern Atlantic? Well, let's take a look at the models. This is the 12Z model guidance from the NAM model. Now it really doesn't matter which model you look at at this point. What's important here is to realize what is happening in the atmosphere and what we have here at 500 millibars is a strong disturbance that is over central Canada and another strong disturbance that will be over the plains, um, northern plains, on Saturday afternoon. And what we're going to be seeing here is that these two disturbances are going to be interacting. Over the past couple of days, there's been a debate as to whether or not the primary low will remain over the Great Lakes or start to transfer earlier towards the coast. And the reason why there was that debate is because there was some disagreement on to whether or not this, the disturbance that over Canada was going to interact in phase uh, with the disturbance that was uh, moving through the northern plains. Well, it looks like that this disturbance over Canada is going to have more influence. And as a result, the storm will remain primarily over the Great Lakes, the primary low pressure system. And that's a huge difference. That means that it's definitely going to be rain along the coast, which we've been saying that for days, but also the icy mix that will set up over northeastern Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey, and the Hudson Valley will also eventually change over to rain. And let's face it, if you can't have snow, who wants ice? So, the ice will eventually change over to rain on Sunday. So let's move ahead into Saturday afternoon and see what conditions we can expect. So on Saturday afternoon, our area low pressure is over the plains. High pressure sitting over the northern Atlantic, which means we can basically expect scattered clouds with temperatures averaging near to slightly below normal. Overall, not too bad. As we move to Sunday, we can see our disturbance from Canada is starting to interact with our storm. And as a result, the upper level low is much further north than what other model guidance were saying, which is keeping it further south. Again, the difference in this storm is whether or not the, the, dis the disturbance that was over Canada was going to interact with this disturbance that was over the Tennessee River Valley and Ohio River Valley. And now it looks like there's going to be more interaction and so therefore the storm is further north and also warmer. So by on Sunday, you can clearly see the primary low pressure system is moving into the Great Lakes. Now because of this high pressure system to the north, again cold air is going to get initially trapped into parts of northeastern Pennsylvania, which will produce our snow, sleet, and freezing rain threat on Sunday morning ending by late Sunday morning into early Sunday afternoon, changing over mostly to rain. Accumulations anywhere from about uh, a half, not even a half, about a, a tenth of an inch of ice. Really it's not going to be all that impressive whatsoever. But just be careful if you're driving on Sunday morning because it will be a little bit slippery over northeastern Pennsylvania and parts of Sussex County and New Jersey. Otherwise, rain will start to move through the region and then throughout the day on Sunday as our new secondary low pressure system starts to develop over New Jersey but not take control until it reach, until this storm reaches uh, northern New England, uh, expect some periods of heavy rain, uh, especially on Sunday afternoon and evening. Now what happens after this low pressure system exits? Well, get ready for the Arctic Express. Very cold air builds into the northern Atlantic. This is a map of 850 millibar temperatures on Tuesday. You can pretty much expect the same type of pattern all the way through for next Friday. And what we have here in place uh, is basically very, very cold air that supports highs in the 20s for New York City and Philadelphia. 
This week was cold. We we're in the lower 30s for most of the week. Next week is going to feel so much colder. We're talking about temperatures in the mid to upper 20s for highs. And notice all this green. That's moisture. That moisture means that there's going to be snow showers spread all over the northern mid-Atlantic next week. Again, scattered in nature, but where they do develop, they can accumulate and produce a surprise snow accumulation. So next week is going to be uh, pretty active as far as, as the very cold temperatures, the wind chills are going to be an issue, and also some scattered snow showers. And then towards the end of the week, on Friday and Saturday, we might have to be watching for an area low pressure that comes out of the Tennessee River Valley. This time, plenty of cold air will be in place. The question is whether or not this low pressure system will produce a significant amount of moisture or whether it remains weak and basically just a few scattered snow showers. The debate's still in the air and given the fact that we are more than five days away from this setup, I would not really worry about the details right now. Just know this, it's going to be cold, there's going to be a chance for snow and uh, this low pressure system is going to be something to watch for Friday night into Saturday. Now this is the long range model guidance from the GFS and the European uh, ensemble guidance. On the left is the European and on the right is the GFS and they both strongly agree for a powerful negative NAO pattern setting up, uh, basically well not even setting up, just remaining in place. This is clearly a west based negative NAO and that means that it is going to stay cold and potentially rather stormy. One of the key features we're watching here is that you see this upper level low that's off the west coast. Well, that's just going to shoot disturbance after disturbance through California, shooting right into the plains and right towards the mid-Atlantic. So you have a cold pattern locked in. you got the cold air locked in with a high pressure likely sitting around, let's say, Quebec or Ontario. And then you have these disturbances shooting under that uh, cold area of high pressure. That could lead to uh, periods of snow, definitely, and, and potentially a rather stormy period. We're going to have to keep an eye on exactly how these low pressure systems develop, but it should get rather interesting. Thank you for choosing NYNJPA weather as your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Have an excellent weekend.